What's up, Hacktroid Crypto fam? Welcome back to another episode. And today we're going to be talking about HDAC. And they are doing some pretty innovative things. One thing in particular that I want to touch on, the blockchain public versus private feature. So let's just dive right in. As you can see, right when you land on the HDAC homepage, you can see a big clock, a countdown timer, similar to a lot of the ICOs that I've talked about. But what I always like to do is kind of go through the video real quick, just to let the company describe what they're doing, what they're up to, and just kind of give you guys a, a full overview before I dive in to, to my analysis. <laughs> As you can tell, you know they they go through just a little bit about the blockchain, but there are some key components that I want to talk about. And let's scroll through to they have their individual, um, you know, their smart contracts going on here. So the the payment platform is going to provide micropayments, and this is you know something that a few other companies have talked about trying to accomplish using uh, for Internet of Things, you know, in your in your smart home. Everybody wants to be able to connect with payments so that you can buy things just via your voice or whatever item that might may be that's in your house. For example, my Google Home, you know, I can buy things off of Google or, um, you know, with Amazon's device, the Echo, you could buy things potentially using their blockchain. Um, and, you know, their, their tokens are basically going to help fuel this. What I really want to talk about is something that is unique and I've never heard of before, and that is the hybrid blockchain that they've developed. So after reading through some of their documentation, I found that they're able through their, their hybrid blockchain to toggle between private and public. If you guys don't know what that is, um, it's, it's essentially when you, when you have a public blockchain, you're able to see the ledger publicly, you're able to see all the transactions and everything that's taken place on that blockchain. When it's public, it's the opposite. It's a uh, closed network where, you know, people can get, get invited. And that's a very, very interesting tactic that HDAC is using here because essentially a private blockchain is secure, safe, 100% from any sort of attacks because you have to be invited to the blockchain and public is the opposite. So what I what I really enjoyed about looking through this project is the the idea that they're connecting private and public. I've I've looked around and I don't see any other companies doing this, which is super exciting for me. Uh, as someone that's built private and public blockchains in the past, seeing something like this is really innovative. Uh, the idea that you can toggle between public and private is is essentially saying that um, I can I can have access to this public blockchain, but at the same time I can quickly turn to a model where I have to give permission for people to join my blockchain, and that's a security measure that many people don't have, or let alone thought about. And when you're using things like the Internet of Things. Uh, IoT devices, like for example, I have Google Home in my in my house. Using something like this is is going to be uh, I'm, I'm going to feel safe using something like this because I understand that 
the difference between public and private and being able to switch between the two because the chains are connected is a big deal. That is, um, that's like pure security using, using blockchain technology, which is, which is pretty incredible. Uh, they go through a lot of their ICO information, uh, but I really wanted to go through um, this last bit. And here it is. So the partners that they have are pretty incredible. And as you can kind of tell from HCAC, they emphasize the fact that they're backed by Hyundai, BS, and C. So I did a little bit of diving into what that is. And Hyundai, BS, and C is essentially a, an arm of Hyundai, like the, the company that we know um, and trust as the, the large car company. But this is, is much different. This is their arm that focuses on IT engineering, construction, and it's in Seoul and, and Korea. So the focus is in, in Korea, basically innovation. And the fact that they have partnered with HDAC on this, uh, they actually emphasize it multiple times here, and they have a few branches, bs and HD Fine Chemical. So Hyundai is essentially, and Hyundai Pay here, as you can see, they are backing this project, which in my mind, that means that, you know, potentially this could be something that could go into uh, helping the Internet of Things for vehicles. Uh, that's just a speculation. But it is super exciting to see something as big as Hyundai being interested, uh, you know, using Hyundai Pay, basically in the Internet of Things and allowing blockchain technology to power that. That does it for my quick overview of HDAC. I think with the mixture of their backing of Hyundai and the private switching to public blockchains back and forth using the Internet of Things, that type of technology and that type of breakthrough, in my opinion, is a big deal. And I think that the different innovations that they're doing with smart contracts, in addition to all the different features they're adding to the Internet of Things, um, I think that the biggest one is, is going to be that uh, cross of, of public versus private blockchains. And being able to toggle between those two is... Um, very cool. And having having built a blockchain myself, it's it's very, 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 very complex to be going between those two. So I'm impressed by their work. I'm impressed by their progress. I'm going to be putting the link in the description below to check out HDAC. I highly, highly recommend you guys do it. They are overall nice guys, great team, great product. And give them a, give them a thumbs up on this video if you guys like the idea, like the concept, and I will see you guys again on the next episode of Hack Droid Crypto.